Horse racing and polo in India are as much of a celebration as there is sport. With big classics and important race days comes a lot of fashion. While you will see women sipping champagne in their colourful fancy dresses, the hats and fascinators are a delight to the eye. The crown of your head had to be covered by something in the presence of the Queen. So that's how really fascinators and hats originated at the race courses all over the world. And then, as always, it became a fashion statement. So you have like the best of designers um, making hats and fascinators. It's not so big in India. It's huge in England. Um. How one wears a fascinator or a hat is equally important. So the colour and cut can be anything. I mean, that's absolute, absolutely fine. But what you have to remember is not to wear uh, something like a gown, like you're going to an event because it's a day affair. Then not to wear like you're going clubbing, um, not to dress like you're going to a cowboy show. It's elegant dressing. So it can be a dress which is very cool and easy to wear for our climate. I love jackets and right now jackets with statement shoulders is something I would love to see. So anything smart, uh, a skirt and a jacket, um, a jacket tied up with a belt. You can even wear jeans on a casual day with a really nice top. The face cuts, overall shoulder size and dress play a huge part in deciding the right hat or fascinator. I've worn a red dress and kept it quite simple because the colour is bold and uh, my shoes are nude but we have a lot of options that we can play around with this. As you saw, I wore a red and nude fascinator. You can also wear a plain red fascinator, you can also wear a black fascinator or just a nude fascinator. So if the colour is loud and bold, then you keep the fascinator either neutral or the same colour. And same goes with the shoes. You can keep neutral shoes, you can keep red shoes and you can keep black shoes. But what I would, I would like one of the pieces to stand out. So if you're wearing a red dress and a red hat, the rest has to be neutral, the shoes and the handbag. If you're wearing a red dress and a red handbag, then keep the fascinator in line with that. So you have all these three options, a nude bag, a black bag, a red bag. So you can be all red or you can be a mix of red and nude or you can be a mix of red and a touch of black. It's not just the women, the attitude extends to fashionable men too, adding to their aristocracy. Everyone thinks I only do hats and women's fashion, but I love doing men's fashion. You can still wear jackets, you can still be cool, but you can have like an element of stars or a leather lapel. We also dabble in, I love dabbling in textures. So this jacket Sherwani has a very textured, cool sort of uh, fabric to it. So there are lots, lots you can experiment with, with menswear nowadays. For feminine equestrian goers, the hats are important. And that fashion extends to weddings, parties and even afternoon brunches. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.